Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to get the Adobe Creative Cloud apps working on Linux. So right off the bat, you should know that this is a bit uh, iffy and it doesn't always work on everybody's operating system. So please, if it doesn't work for you, don't blame me. Uh, it's, you're just going to have to try a different version uh, or distro. So to start off, you'll need to get the Play on Linux app. Now, Play on Linux can be installed in multiple ways, but if you check out the article in the description below, we have the command for how to install it. And for Arch, it's this. And once you've got it installed, just launch it. Now, Play on Linux is a uh, it's an app that makes wine using e it makes wine usage easier. So you've got that open. You need to get a terminal again. Go back to the terminal, and you need to clone this app here. And this app will make it so that it's easier to. It's basically a helper, and it will allow people to install the creative apps a lot easier. So to get the script working, click Tools, and then click Run a Local Script. Go through the wizard and then just click browse, look for Creative Cloud, and then you just click on the Creative Cloud SH, click open, and then next. Now this will run and it will say the signature of the script you're trying to run is not valid. Play on Linux does not approve the script and will not be responsible for it. Just ignore that, it doesn't matter. You can read the code itself and uh, click I agree. Play on Linux will open it. And if you have two monitors, you'll need to uh, move it back to the same screen over and over. It can be quite annoying. But uh, it will tell you that it installs into the wine prefix Play on Linux Creative Cloud 2018. So you just click Next. And it'll go through and it'll download the latest version of Wine that it needs to run with. And for this currently, it is Wine 2.2.0 staging. So if you're running Wine 3.0 on Arch or you're running a higher version of Wine than 2.2.0, on whatever Linux distribution you're using, you're going to need to be careful and uh, just go with what the installer picks instead. Don't switch it out. This may take a bit of time, but it's just going through and automatically configuring everything. So after a while, it will start downloading the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop stuff. It is important that you don't go out to the web and download it manually. You need to let the installer do it for you. And this is because the Play on Linux script and patch automatically will set up an environment and get it working exactly right. The developer has gone through and tried to make this work as good as possible. And if you do it right, if it runs right and installs right, it is very likely that you will be able to use some Adobe Creative Cloud stuff, but it still may not work depending on what you're using. It's very, very iffy right now, and the developer is working very hard to get it working, but he can't promise everything. Please check the description once again for the for the article below where I describe a little bit more of this in detail. Anyways, once the installation and the downloader tool finish doing it, you'll see the Adobe Creative Cloud selection screen kind of pop up. You'll also see this little pop-up window that says Adobe Creative Cloud. The installation is now complete and you can use it. Um, so we just need to wait for this to load up here. So it's at this point you need to sign in with your Adobe Creative Cloud app. So I don't actually own any of the Adobe products, but you can click the try button to get it working. You just have to make sure you log in with the Creative Cloud. And uh, once you click the install button, it'll go through and download it just like normal.
The download may take a little bit of time, and uh, if you're if you've logged in and you've purchased Photoshop or Portfolio or any of these tools, the download is obviously going to be a bit longer than just installing a trial version of the app. But once you do, you should be able to launch it. Once the downloading is complete, uh, if you're using a trial version, just click the Start Trial button. Otherwise, if you have installed a product that you own, you can go over to Installed Apps after you install it and just click Use. You can also just un... you can click this arrow here and click Uninstall. But I'm going to select Start Trial. And as you can see, the Adobe application's working under Linux. It is not perfect, and uh, it could be better. It would be a lot nicer if Adobe made, uh, as you can see, it's pretty glitchy, but it does work. I have to restart this. So it does work under Linux. And uh, so if you are a graphic designer or you are a video editor and you need absolutely need to get the Adobe tools, follow our guide and you will be able to open up and use this while using Linux. Uh, I'm going to quickly create a, an, a document just to show it in action here. But uh, as you can see, the normal Photoshop stuff is here. I can use it just fine. And this is the latest version, too. This is CS18. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know that Adobe has been hit or miss with Linux, but it's nice to see a way to get it working. So if you've got any, like I said, if you've got any questions or, or you absolutely need to understand more of how this works and what I explained in the video, please check the description below. I've written an article that explains everything. I'm going to get going though, you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.